The odometer on my Rave Bullet GT e-bike just turned 100 miles, and so here's my 100-mile review. The Rave e-bike, the one I have is in the middle of their lineup, so it's $17.99 uh, retail price. Uh, you can get $100 off if you use the coupon code hoo hoo H O O H O O. And now that I've had 100 miles to ride this bike, I've made a few changes, and I've, I've, I've got it the way I want it. Uh, the first thing that I changed was I, I didn't like the way that it rode. The, the shock was really super firm and, and didn't have any shock absorbing properties either. So I swapped it out for an air shock. Now, I've talked to the manufacturers and they've said that they're going to think about putting a better shock on it. So we'll see if future models are better. This air shock, the only problem was I can't really get to the air valve real easy. I have to sit on the seat to put air in it. And then up on the top of the frame, there's two bolts that you can use to hold things down. So I put a Rock Bros carrying case on there with a, a tire pump and some tools in it just in case something breaks down. I have the fork cranked up to maximum spring tension on the left. I weigh 200 pounds. And then on the right, I like to run it pretty bouncy. So you can choose the compression adjustment that you prefer there, even locking it all the way out if you want. And in terms of the controller, it's got a basic black and white controller like a lot of e-bikes and... I really like this. It's got three modes, so it's not like you don't have to scroll through five or seven modes. It's, it's just one through three, and then zero is pedal it yourself. So in terms of keeping it simple and it being low profile, I like that. So I'm happy with the controller, and it's real easy to unlock as well. I made another video on that. Uh, the brakes are fine. Um, I have these nuts on my bike. They're, my bike was a prototype, but Rave has their own brakes that are on future models that they say are even better than these brakes. So I can't really speak to what brakes you would get if you were to buy this bike right now. It runs CST BFT tires, 2.0 by 4.0. I'd prefer more of a street tire like the CST Scout. People have had complaints about this tire. It's been fine for me, but other people have said that they do not like it. Uh, CST is Ching Shen Tire Company, and they make all kinds of tires. Even this bicycle I was parked next to is running CST BFTs. So they're not terrible, but people say they're not the best either. In the dark, the taillight brake light works fine, and the headlight is really, really bright. So I'm very happy with the headlight. I feel safe riding it at night, and I can also see where I'm going. Like, this is a totally dark alley, but you can see it's completely lit up by this headlight, which I, I believe is brighter than a lot of the ones you get on a lot of other e-bikes. And this is what it looks like to go 27 miles an hour next to the train tracks across rocks and dirt and pieces of plywood and all kinds of garbage. So with the suspension set pretty bouncy in front and rear, I I just am extremely happy with it. The fact that you can rip this fast over this kind of terrain with this kind of confidence. And I'm sitting with my butt on the seat and it's comfortable with the suspension the way I've got it set up. The other great thing about this bike is it weighs 85 pounds. So all these dummies are trying to find a place to park their car at the beach. I can just weave in and out of traffic, ride down to the pier, past a whole bunch of people that have been spending 20 minutes trying to find a parking spot all the way up here and looks like I'm in the front row, baby. So that's what I love about this bike most is, is you can take it places. I think no matter where you are, this is going up the hill from the beach. So a little pedal assist where other people have to walk their bikes, you can just rip right up the hill. So this is your hill climbing test, I guess, if you're interested in hill climbing. But no matter where you live, there's probably a downtown place where everybody goes all at the same time on the weekends and you think about going there, but parking's a pain. So in, in our community, there's a lot of people who ride these bikes to the beach and just you know zip down, zip back and, and uh, avoid the traffic. The only thing I would say to that is if you damage somebody's car, you might not be legally required to have insurance, but it's still your fault if you cause an accident. Uh, if you drive drunk, you can lose and will lose your car driver's license. And if you commit any kind of uh, traffic violations on the bike, it also counts against your, your car license or motorcycle license or both, whichever one you have. So you have to be a little bit careful. But let's see how the younger generation feels about this bike. So far, uh, most of the videos online are all guys in their 50s. So let's see what a, a kid thinks when he gets on it. All right, so so far, all you've seen is a bunch of old fat guys riding this bike in the review video. So I've recruited the B-Jubbies, a former YouTube star. How's it going? So good. the Rave Bullet seems like a really good bike. It's light. The front end is, is poppy, a lot of rebound, but it can definitely stop you in a good amount of time. I think you can handle some rocks, some jumps, maybe some stoppies. So we'll see what we can do on it. And overall, I think it's a really good bike. It's definitely really fast, I will say, being on an electric bike and trying other electric bikes. The top speed definitely gives that, that feel of danger and, and thrill, which is nice. You'll get to your location really quickly. And overall, I think it's a really good bike and I think I would buy it myself.
Whoa! So, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's solid. All right. It also looks good. All right, good, good. And what, you can do some BMX stunts on it. Yeah. So, so that's good. It's, it's half BMX certified. It's not as heavy as you think it would be. It's definitely not. 85 pounds. Like you could pick it up and carry it over your head if you wanted to. Movable. Light. The seat looks really good. Yep. It has that good style. And how tall are you? I'm 5'8". Five 5'8". Eight. Five eight, I think. Not the tallest. But it fits really well for me and I can still move back in the seat more. So if you're tall, I feel like it still works. So... Oh, bunny hop. <laughs> fakey? Oh, you can fakey it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not exactly a BMX bike. It's pretty solid. So overall, I'm very happy with the Rave Bullet GT, and I, I like the, the response the company's had to the input that me and the other guys that are testing it have been giving them. They're, they're making improvements. Um, if you're taller, you might want to wait until the taller version of this comes out. They're, they're building one for taller people, and it should come out in the next month or so. So maybe wait. My coupon code will still be good. Coupon code hoo hoo a month from now. So if you wait and want to buy the bigger one, you can do that. Or if you're interested in this one you think it'll fit you I, I think it'll fit you if you're you know anywhere up to six foot probably it's just the bigger one's going to give you a little more room to stretch out but uh that's it thanks uh for watching this is a fun bike to ride it gets a lot of looks a lot of attention people really really notice it amongst the crowd so you're definitely going to get a lot of looks and a lot of comments as well if you ride one of these out in public uh, let's take a look at the 0 to 60 times. So you can start your stopwatch and you can figure out exactly how slow, fast, or in between it is. Or I should say 0 to 28. It doesn't go 60.